Anyway, my comrades in gaming. How's it going, guys? Ran for 100 here, and I feel like an idiot just because I just recorded this without the software being on. So that's that's a victory in my book. And yes, that javelin spot still does work, even though it reduced the radius. So I'm feeling like a moron right now. Let's try to try to make myself feel even worse. So this video is about karma. I know a lot of people get this in Call of Duty. If anybody's played a multiplayer game in general, it, it's probably happened to you. Whether it's playing, you know, Halo 3, which is my first big multiplayer game. Call of Duty, you know, 4, World at War, Black Ops, Modern Warfare 2, 3, Battlefield, anything. I, PS3, you know, I think, I think, uh, I think PS, I think PlayStation 2 had multiplayer, if I'm not mistaken. Although I never actually hooked it up. And you can see me having trouble getting in this door. I mean, that's a really busy building right there. So yeah, we get this this karma, and like I said, this has probably happened to everybody. I'm not even gonna forget about you PC players, but you'll see like whether you kill somebody and then they spawn behind you and just knife you in the butt, or you know you are close to your Moab or like a high kill streak, and then you get lagged out of the game, or just just something really stupid. You kill yourself for no apparent reason. I don't, I don't know. Lag gets you. That happens to a lot of people. Or just a really unruly spawn. You know, something like that. Something that's not your fault, basically. I mean, it's just like the Call of Duty, like, higher powers or just karma just really is really whipping you. So, we're playing bootleg here, right? And I'm running Pred Reaper AC-130. And, you know, I'm going to be like a coward that I am and hide in the back and call this Reaper in. So, I'm going to hide behind this dumpster here. And, really? Oh, boy. Really? I... This would be an understatement to say that I was kind of slightly mad. Uh, I should preface this with the fact that I'm playing with Steel City 2424, who's one of my friends in real life. Yes, I actually do have those. And I play with him on live a lot. And we were, we usually get lagged out of a game like that maybe once or twice in like a night session. Well, when I say night session, like a really, really, really long night session, if you, if you catch my drift right there. So... I, this was right in the beginning. That was like the second or third game we played that night. So I was, I I would I wouldn't lie if I said I was kind of ticked off. So you'll see one of the things I do right in the beginning of joining a game right here is I'll look at the other team, just to I'll be honest. I, I look at the other team to see like if there's anybody there that I might recognize. If if I don't know, I I'll look at the prestiges and I'll look at their scores to see if anybody's on like a high kill streak or if, or if we're getting our butts whooped that bad. Uh, I'll, that's especially true in like domination or something where you know you can't see the the score on the bottom for like kills and stuff so I switched you know I decided the MSR with which I used to get like one kill it pretty much takes a back seat to this M16 I pick up and the MP9 that I used right in the beginning so I don't, I don't really know why I even picked this class but you know whatever and you know, with all the games coming out, like, I mean, there's Halo 4, which isn't by Bungie, it's by, I want to say it's 38 Studios, maybe. I could be wrong with that. But there's Halo 4, uh, Modern, wow, Black Ops 2, that's what I was looking for there. Way to go, Randy, you're acting like a complete idiot. But Black Ops 2, Assassin's Creed 3, I'm personally looking forward to Bioshock Infinite, but that's, that's just me. I'm a little different right there. You get all these new games coming out, and especially with the new Call of Duty. And, you know, I'm still going to throw some Modern Warfare 3 tips at your face. It's it's not like some people might not... I mean, even if they don't get used, I really don't care. But, you know, some people like them. A lot of people, you know, they might find a route that they like. And we're going to make sure that when we get on these steps to destroy those vests there. Right there. There we go. And, you know, I'll just throw the tips anyway. Just because, you know, a lot of people like them. And... I don't know, you might, you might learn something, and, you know, it might be helpful later. Uh, I, I don't know. Uh, that's what I'm doing with here. That's, that's how we do over here. That's how we roll. <laughs> so, I, that care package that I just threw right there, I threw in those steps. You have no idea how many times I've had teammates spawn right there at the bottom of the, that staircase, and that care package roll down, and bam, juggernaut. That's what I'm talking about. That's how we do. That's how we roll right now. I'm pretty sure after I got that juggernaut, I did not... I totally forgot about that Reaper from the last game. Um, I was that's that's what we call karma hitting me right in the face in the good way this time, not the bad way. Uh, one of the things about Juggernauts that 
I, I'll be honest. I don't I don't have a tendency to run Juggernaut. I'll run AC-130 over Juggernaut mostly almost every day. Just because I don't like appearing on the map like this, even though you're pretty much like a giant mammoth, a behemoth. I, I won't run it, really, just because they see you on the map. It's pretty much like you're on a recon drone. And uh, one thing I feel that people don't actually know is that RPGs can kill Juggernauts in one shot. Recon or Assault, like I am, if you hit them in the face. Or, or the body. Actually, if you just hit the Juggernaut with the RPG, they'll die. Because the RPG is unguided, you know, hitting them, that's that's a different story. If you miss, you're probably screwed in, like, seven different ways. But if it does hit, which, it, I mean, it usually will if you aim properly, you'll, you'll get an easy jug kill, and they'll be really confused out of their mind. So when I do get a Juggernaut, though, like, out of that care package, which was sheer luck or karma, depending on how you look at it, the way I play it is... Like this guy failing at drop shotting, but <laughs> the way I'll play the Juggernaut card is I'll act like I'm hurt, right? So I'll go around a corner, I'll go around a corner like this, and a lot of times what a lot of people like to do, especially like the more skilled or experienced players, is they'll see the Juggernaut running, going around the corner, and they'll probably have a tendency to think they're hurt, so they'll come streaming after them with like a Kimbo's or a really strong gun, and I'll just turn around and kill them, just. I mean, a lot of people don't really see it coming. They expect that you're hurt, and they'll just—they're just trying to get like a nice kill on the juggernaut. But that's how I play it. I mean, that's that's my that's my J card right there. It's my juggernaut card. Um, another story I wanted to get to really fast was I, I've been working at this landscaping job. It's just like a summer job, and I'm only working it two days a week now. But uh, we have a few people working there, and there's this dump truck. And, I mean, the brakes don't work really well on it. A lot of times, they just throw it in neutral and put, like, a wooden block behind the wheel to prevent it from moving. And I was backing a truck up into a trailer to hook the the pickup truck onto the trailer. And you'd actually be surprised that it's actually kind of hard to hook a truck up onto a trailer. I've never done it before, so that's a new one to me. But there was no one driving this dump truck, and it was on, like, a slight hill. So, I was... <laughs> I was I was backing up this truck and I look at the dump truck and it's being loaded by like a bobcat to like with like stone or something. And I see this truck, it starts slowly moving. And I thought about it and I was like, wait a minute, there's there's one, two, three. I see four people. There's only four people who work here. There's no one driving that. Wait a minute, there's no one oh crap. I and it starts turning straight towards me. So if you want like a life flashing before your eyes thing, it that would be it because to see a giant truck which is like two and a half times bigger than the truck i was in coming straight towards me it veered off and then you know it just kind of stopped but knowing that there is something coming like that and that it could easily kill me i was like that that's that's a life-changing moment there except my life didn't actually flash before my eyes and it wasn't really that interesting but i was i'm i'm pretty sure i had to change my pants after that so Alright, well there's a flawless for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you guys next time.